To start this video hot, I want you to take a look at this clip. Yup, you saw it right, those were two outlaw one-shots while flying with Jet through the window on Ascent. This must be one of those one in a million Valorant moments. And today you're lucky, because this isn't the only one in a million Valorant moment of this video. No, 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 my friends. Over the past few months, I've collected a lot of clips. Clips where you think about that it wouldn't be possible. From lucky kills. Crazy moments. What is what? <laughs> to laggy kills. It took 4 business days for that kill to arrive. This video got it all my friends. But anyway, if you think you ever got in a 1 in a million moment, don't forget to send your clip in the Lowlander Discord server. And who knows, you might be featured in the next video. And now let's start this video with Elcon, who escaped the spike explosion in a very rare way. Start flashing. You're very lucky over there, my friend. Here's a tippy for everyone. If you want to escape in a cool way like this, all you gotta do is wait till the timer hits below 3, and then you can jump off the map and respawn in the spawn. The only thing is that you need to kill an enemy at the right time, otherwise the spike will explode before the timer can hit 3, and that makes this round extremely rare. Next clippy. As some of you guys know, back in the day you were able to dash up the ramp with Neon, and then you could surprise the enemy standing in heaven. However, did you know that this was also possible? I'm out of here! Wait, what is this? Imagine chilling on site and suddenly you see a neon flying towards you with a shotgun. Very scary, my friends. I was wondering if this is still in the game, so I did some tests and I sadly couldn't figure out to do it myself. Maybe because this mechanic is fixed or I'm just not good enough. Let's now move on with this clip of player Indo 10. Here. Wait for the diff. On site. What in the Scooby-Doo was this? Well played player Indo-10. This is proof that using your ears to hear the steps of the enemies and good timing of course can easily win you rounds. Okay, let's stay on Fracture now for this insane sniper shot. I don't think I've ever seen a better timed sniper shot on an Omen Ultimate. Back soon. Honestly, the omen was still in his ultimate over here, right? If we slow this clip down, you see literally one frame over there on the bottom right where omen was appearing and I think that's the reason why he got the kill. Well played Crazy Noodle and about the reaction time shots, this one really hurts. Echt noch nie. <laughs> was in oh, aller Welt hat er die gezogen? Ja, was ist das, meine Freund? Even when I slow this clip down, the enemy is still fast with the flick. That's insane. And while we're showing an It's Unix clip, don't think I didn't notice this one. It happens to the best, I guess. Okay, imagine, it's a 1v1 situation, you're playing against Gecko, and then this happens. What would you do in this situation? You got this. Yes. That's actually so funny. While you have a facing standoff, you can think about, do I switch to my main, my knife, or my pistol? And what I personally would have done is switch to my pistol, because you can pick it faster, you know? A quicker headshot, but I mean, in the end, you got a kill, so well played. Next clippy, this one is about the internet. A thing you need to know about Valorant is that when you don't have a good connection, your game might look a bit cursed. And then things like this might happen. I know, pretty strange, right? And after that, Sage just teleported away like a Minecraft Enderman. I'm just wondering what the teammates and the enemy's perspectives were on this. I mean, his teammate was shooting, so he must have seen also something, right? Valorant can be so glitchy sometimes. And here's another example of bad internet. These free kills must be the most delayed kills I've ever seen. But hey, at least he got him. One more leggy Valorant round? Why not? In rounds like these, I'm just really wondering what the enemy's perspective is. Do they don't hear the ghost shots or something? I have no idea. Almost the ace. Okay, let's now move on with a very special ace. On Ascent, the very effective combo that you can do is using your Breach Aftershock with the Flash in combination with an ISO ability on A side. But this play on itself isn't that one in a million, right? This combo is very common and we've seen a lot of people getting killed with this trick. However, the reason why this next round is very special is because we have so many perspectives from our teammates but also the enemies. Take a look at it. I must stop, I must stop, I must stop, I must stop. Oh! What? What? Oh 
I must stop. I must stop. I must stop. I must stop. Oh, Wow. Honestly, we live in a world without a replay system, so it's fun to also see the enemy's perspective. They had no counterplay over there. Except for uh, not pushing immediately when the barriers are going down. Just wait the first 10 seconds, my friends. Okay, let's move on with the clip about timing now. When you successfully defuse the spike, you can look at the timer at the top how much time you had left to defuse it. And in normal circumstances, this timer will hit like 3 or 5 seconds. Usually you have enough time to defuse, right? But sometimes, in rare situations, the timing of defusing the spike is perfect and you get a 0 0.00 seconds. Here are two examples of those rounds. Nice! Oh. Wait, zero, zero. What the heck? Very lucky defuses, my friends, but I think it's time for some quick kills now. So this next segment of the video is dedicated to the luckiest kills in the game. Let's start off Milt with some smoke one tappies. She is like, you can sneeze on her and she'll go. Kill Cool kills, but they can be luckier, right? Maybe a wall bank shot. Die. What? I didn't even know that was wall bangable. But I want even luckier kills. What about an attack helicopter? Okay, okay. What about collateral kills? Nice Impressive. But let's take it up a notch. Blind collateral kills. Operator, too easy. I want the blind collateral Marshall headshot. Do we have a clip of that? <laughs> what the fuck again? Okay, whoa, let's stop it right there. I think that was the most impressive one, right? Let's slow this clip down. This guy isn't even aiming at the heads of the enemies, right? Or am I crazy? Well played nonetheless. Oh yeah, forgot about the first clip of this video. Okay, let's move on with another clip of It's Genius. Honestly, this clip got me so confused, man. I had to look at it a few times before I really understood what was happening. But first, I want you to take a look at it and explain to me where that race came from. Gotta go. It's probably garage. Blocking sight. Gotta go. Uh. Okay, what the f*** happened over here? We start this clip at the start of the round, so Race couldn't have been there the whole time. But when we look at this clip, every teammate was looking at some part of the site. There's not one single point when Race could have sneaked behind the teammates. If Race were to do that, you would see him on the minimap. So to be completely honest, I honestly have no idea how Race got behind Sage over here. Let me know in the comments if you have an idea how Race did it. Also, if you watched this video this far and you like it, take a quick look if you're subscribed to the channel. I really appreciate the support. Next clippy. Often we as players players make huge mistakes, right? And those are usually pretty embarrassing. But you know what's even more embarrassing? If an enemy makes a huge mistake and you get a kill because of it. One enemy remaining. Three down. 30 seconds oh. left. Two up. Pretty impressive. Surviving a knife attack like that with this next clip is really a one in a million fail. What? <laughs> I have no idea how you survived that myth milk, but well played my friend. This next clip is a little bit laggy, sorry for that, but it's just too cool to not include in this video. These two teams decided to put all their smokes on middle and go for an epic knife battle. You really don't see that every day in Valorant, so that's why I put it in this video. I wish my enemies were fun like this. I always play against tryhard smurfs, you know. Now let's talk about the post plant play, taken to the extreme. A nice post plant tactic I personally use a lot is to plant on site, after that rotate all the way around, for example from shore to showers, and then kill the enemies from a different angle. This tactic is very effective on those maps where you don't need to walk for a very long time. However, Wolfie Hunt took this tactic to the extreme. On Lotus, he was walking from B all the way to the spawn, then towards C side, then through waterfall all the way back to the side. This is so risky because you need to walk for so long, but does he get there in time? Enemy spotted B. Well played, my dude. And then, to end this video, we actually have a clippy of myself. I think this must be a one in a million moment, right? I was so lucky over here. Some of you might have already seen this clip, but I got a kill like... Tu, 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 tu. What? Anyway, if you want to see more epic clips, you can click on the video on the top left. In that video, a lot of crazy Valorant aces. And I see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.